Hello everyone, it's Meg Ray. For this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to build this pretty menacing snake statue. And while I don't like snakes personally, I chose it because, well, you did. So thank you for suggesting it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm actually super excited that we finally get to use 1.14 blocks for these, as well as 1.13 actually, since I finally now have the replay mod for 1.14, whereas before I was always in 1.12 because replay was only up to date to that version. But now we can get into some more detailed statues, I'm hoping, and this will be a good start. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and start off by building out the middle layer of this snake. And if you notice, I am just doing the snake's head at this point. Because of the size of this, it will be easier for me to just show you how to do the head part since it is the most detailed, and then for the rest of it, we'll just kind of make it up. And I will be using different stones for this, but of course you can switch out the colors for any block of your choice. Whatever you pick, just make sure it has a slab and a stair variant of that block, which in 1.14 there's a lot more options, so that's always good. The way I approached building this is I'm just going to do one color at a time. So I'm starting off with all of the yellow, which is andesite in my build. I'm going to create the tongue out of red nether brick because it's the only red block that has stairs and slabs, and it works. For the belly, I'm going to use stone brick for all those blue parts, and for the green parts, I will be using mossy cobblestone, which looks so good on this because it looks like actual snake skin. Now we'll just continue on to add layers to this, building out all of the colored sections on the left. And again, I'm just going to do them one color at a time to help me keep track of where I am. Another thing I was super proud of on this layer though, was what we're going to do for the eye. I actually used a dried kelp block, which I absolutely love because it actually looks like the snake has a slit in its eye and it just really adds some life to this build. We'll also be adding a couple diorite walls for the teeth, which again, we did not have before and I'm so happy I can actually use these in my builds now. Once you've finished on one side, you can move on to the other. They are exactly the same, just reversed. And feel free to pause the video if you need to. Starting on the third layer, we're going to finish off the head by making the jaw a little wider with these few extra blocks, and also putting a half slab on top of the eye to make it look much smaller. And I did decide to make this snake into a cobra to make it a little more interesting to look at, so we'll be adding those extra flaps on the sides of his head, and that's what this one section on the top is, it will be starting that extra piece of skin that flails out. Going to the other side, again, it will be the exact same thing, just reversed. On the last two layers, we're just going to be working on that little flap on the side of his head. So on the grid on the left, you're not going to see the blocks underneath as easily. Those blocks are just going to be placed right next to the previous layer's blocks. Same thing for layer 5, it's going to go directly on top of the previous layer's blocks. I'm just showing you this one side, but again, they are the same on both sides. For the rest of the snake, I'll let you decide how long or short you're going to make it, so you can make this part up to whatever shape you want, but I'm just going to kind of lay out a path that I want the snake's body to go in, in a single row of blocks. And then at the end of it, I will do for mine a little tail that kind of pokes up, so you can create whatever shapes you want here. And then once I have the first row down, I'm just going to trace around that on both edges, overlapping that middle row I just built. On the next layer, I'll do the top part with the mossy cobblestone, and I'll just trace on top of that last row I did. And once that is done, I will just cap it off with one more layer. Basically, we're trying to make this look rounded on all edges, so if you need to punch out some of the blocks on the corners to make it look more rounded, you can do that. It's really up to you how you want to handle the rest of this. This does make it quite a lot bigger than just the head, so if you wanted to use just the head, you could. If you wanted to add the body, you could. If you do decide to add the full body and tail, just make sure you're making it look like it's getting thinner once it reaches the end. Well, that's all I have for this snake design. If you want to tweak things with this, you're more than welcome to, of course. 
For example, if you wanted to have the mouth closed, that's very easy to do by just removing the whole lower jaw and then just putting slabs underneath the head in its place. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial and I hope you're actually able to use this design for something. As I was building it, I'm not quite sure what you'd use it for, but I'm sure somebody will find some kind of use for it. But it was fun to design this, especially with all the new blocks available to us. Thanks again for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye!